Welcome back. These bitterly cold temperatures can pose serious health concerns for our state's most vulnerable. Yeah, and that includes everyone from seniors to babies and those with medical and ability challenges and also anyone who doesn't take the necessary precautions for this kind of weather. We're joined live now by Dr. Husnain Karmali of Trinity Health of New England. Let's start with hypothermia tonight, doctor, which is what happens after prolonged exposure to very cold weather sets in. So what are the symptoms to watch out for for hypothermia? So for hypothermia, what we're looking at is, of course, numbness, uh, disorientation, lack of um, feeling in the extremities. Um, it actually is sometimes pain that then goes away. Um, and then we really want to worry a little bit of shivering and then the shivering that goes away, that's where we start to really worry about the hypothermia, mm -hmm. different classes as it becomes more severe. Yeah, okay. So what are the very first steps someone should take if they're suffering from either hypothermia or frostbite or someone they know is suffering with it? Yeah, so depending upon the severity, the first step, of course, is to try to get someplace warm. Um, get them indoors, someplace warm number one. Number two, if there's any wet clothing that's on, you definitely want to remove that wet clothing. From there, um, it, you know, it, it sometimes is, um, some, some people try to get them into a warm blanket um, and, and something dry, just so that we really want to slowly start the process of rewarming if they have suffered any kind of loss of consciousness, then of course we want to alert the emergency services because then we need to get more aggressive in that therapy um, and actually a slower rewarming process as opposed to a more aggressive one. And that leads to our next question here. I'm, I'm sure that your emergency department does see cases related to the weather. So what can you recommend that we all do to prepare for these temperatures and avoid actually winding up in the ER? Yeah, so the first the first step is to be prepared. Um, so a lot of the times it's making sure that our cars are filled up with gas if we're going on trips, having an extra pair of boots, blankets, gloves in the car as we go on these trips. If we're playing outside, recognize that sometimes it's time to go inside and take a little bit of a break, um, get ourselves warmed up before we head back outside. The simple things that our moms used to tell us to do um, they tend to be the smartest ones. All right. Well, thank you so much for all that advice. Really important stuff, especially when you're out there shoveling. If it gets really cold, you know, we have to keep that in mind. Thank you, Dr. Kramali of Trinity Health of New England and St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.